Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing off how to get mods for any grill tag copy. So, first, I need to define like what a copy is because... Yes. So, copies for grill tag... A grill tag copy is when the player model is like this. Like, when it's, like, the, like, normal average grill tag, uh, model, then you're in a copy. But if it's something like, a the Seabus Monkey model, then you're in a fan game. This, however, does not work for fan games yet. But I don't think it will for a while. So, most games, like... Mostly every copy does not have an anti-cheat, so you can do this for, like, mostly anything. But if you're not able to do it, then, like, if the menu, like, shows up, but you just, like, can't use it, then it's probably, um, uh, there's probably anti-cheat. So, however, I do still play, uh, Girl Tag Horror. It's just I gave up on modding it because it seems like they've updated it so it's not as fun now. Or at least they added more content to it. So anyways, the things that you'll need is CX File Explorer, Lemon Installer, uh, the mod that you want to use, and um, I also recommend OVR Metrics. So you need four things to be able to do this. So... Um, I will be showing off how to get OVR metrics, not the DLL, considering the two DLLs that I mainly use will just be slapped into the description, like always. So, yeah. So, there will be a tutorial on how to get Lemon Installer, and a tutorial on how to get CX File Explorer if you don't already have it. So... Yeah, so first off, you need OVR metrics, which is how you can, like, you see, like, the comp or, like, monkey club or whatever. Click on this, view and four, and then get in and download it. And then launch it up. So you want to make sure that Enable Persistent Overlay is on. Because if it's not, then you won't be able to see, like, all this stuff. Wow, 90 frames a second. That's crazy. <clears throat> so, once you've got all the stuff that you need, first off, you want to enter into the game that you want to mod, in which I'll be using this one just to, like, show off how it's done. So, also, thanks for 300 subscribers. Like, that is just crazy. Yeah, this is a 300 subscriber special. So anyways, once you've played the game, you want to... ...here, on then sources. Uh, and then open up all our... Um, no, it takes a while just to load up. Don't know why. Um. Yeah. But the lemon installer tutorial will just be in the video that I like, put in the description. I'm not going to show, like, how to set it up because I don't feel like I'm installing it. So, load it up. And if you. And then remember the thingy that I said on the top of the uh, OVR metrics tool because you will need that for this and everything else regarding this whole modding. So yeah, once this is all loaded up, you want to scroll down until you see what you want to mod. It will also say like the name before the com thingy, so use a com thingy only if you cannot find it. Uh, where's... The... All right, here we go. So you want to patch it. Uh, note that this also takes a while. Uh, 
still pretty cool how this works, so. Oh yeah, you can also, uh, mod, like, other games than just, um, Girl Attack copies with this, but you'll need, like, a different DLL files, like, this is only for Girl Attack copies, though. All right, so once this is all done, it says cleaning up, you want to uninstall it, which, you know, this is where it, like, deletes your progress, but and then it, like, reinstall it, so it will restore the data. What? Okay. What? Depending on which way it is. App library. Unknown sources. File explorer. Download. Which is where you'll have the two files that you'll be needing. So hybrid cheat menu. And then the other menu. So copy those back. Crap. Main storage, Android data, and then search until you find the thingy. This is mainly where you'll need the uh, the OVR metrics thingy. The name of it. Go in the files. What is that? I've never seen that before. Mm -hmm. Paste those in there. All right. So click on the three dots. New folder. And then just name it mods. Select these two again. Move mods. And then open it up back up. Open app. Note that it won't be able to update um unless it's like this though. And then um yeah, it'll also take quite a while just to load. So if you still have the OVR metrics open up, then you can just look at that. Once the bar reaches, like, the other side, then you know that it's pretty much done. Huh. I got dark quick. There's also some cases where it's crash, and which is the rare case that if it's like an exact copy like that game, then it'll just break. Mm -hmm. I've never played that. Um, let me just find a game that's already done. Done. Um, yeah, sure. I'll just pick you. Yeah, sure, you. Please work. So I'll just be using this one instead then, just for the rest of it. Oh yeah, so for some games, you will also need the uh, Fulbright. Oh. Um. Well. Uh,
That's interesting. I'll just do this one then. So you'll have two menus. One in the top right, and then one in the middle of the screen, like a little bit lower than the middle of the screen, but close enough to the middle of the screen, though. So there'll be one up there, and then one, like, right around here. So this one up here is not... Hang on, guys. Let me just replace the files in this with the ones that we're currently using so that there's no confusion. Uh... Ugh. Hate when this happens. Wrong one. The data. But if the Fulbright on the Audis already works, then you don't need the DLL. But just in case, I'll put the DLL with the other two files, just in case you need it. Yes. Yeah. Delete these two. And then relaunch it up, and then it should now work. Launch it back up. Huh. Okay, so it seems like one of the mods isn't working for it, which is strange. I think that's the Audis file, so, uh, yeah, every now and then this one won't work. This one's mainly for, like, specific ones, so I guess hybrid have to do then. Oh, man. That's a shame, though, man. But yeah, the audience client usually works. Oh, hybrid's the one that. What the? Oh. Why is hybrid not working? Uh, I guess hybrid's the one that doesn't work for some of them then. That's. Hybrid's never had any issues lately, but okay then. Hybrid works the same as, uh. The sixes menu from the last video, where it's the one joystick followed by uh, the two buttons on the right hand. Okay, so Audis seems to work. Why won't the other one work? Uh, but yeah, so for the Audis client, if there is no board like somewhere near you, which it can edit then it'll just sort of do nothing. But usually on the board, it'll say, thanks for using Audis. And then it'll show you how to use it. But in case the game doesn't have that, this is how you use it. So you hold down both joysticks, and then it's the same exact thing, except it's both joysticks instead. Fulbright's been having some issues for this copy of it, or the version of it that I'm currently using. It's also got a very unique and cool, uh, long arms. Like, it doesn't extend the head. It extends only the arms. So, uh, yeah. It can do stuff such as Spider Monkey. Which can be a little bit annoying, but that's only for, like, the actual DLL itself. Audi's client's, like, a mixed version of it, where you can just at will. Okay, uh, please don't hurt me. Uh, do you walk sideways? You were already... Whoa, 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 what the... <sighs> hey there, John. Alright. Um, but yeah, the hybrid menu has a, uh, spam Gibbs button. Which, if you use it and then hold down this finger, it will, like, give you, like, a million gibbs. It's... It will make you shiny, basically. Yeah, that's basically... Yeah. That's it for today's video, guys. 
If you liked it, the like and subscribe become cheese.